guys what's going on it's oregon motorcycle bringing you another awesome banging episode coming to you straight out of portland today baby we are at the alley sweeper again yeah yeah can't wait this is a total hooligan ride it's awesome there's a ton of bikes here again you guys oh my god Woo. here okay and I got my other buddy Javier here some more people from the east side yep yeah yeah it would be cool I know, huh? Meh, meh, meh. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> okay, man. Yeah. Damn! <laughs> oh, holy shit! Did you see that? Did you see that crash? What? Did you see that crash? I did. Oh yeah. <laughs> they lowered it now, I'm gonna go do it.
the Tavaria. Woo! I think I'm the only electric bike out here. All right, folks. So in case you didn't get the message, we are out here. Uh, we're doing the 2022 Portland Alley Sweeper, baby. And this is like the ultimate hooligan ride. Uh, it's done on a yearly basis. And uh, it's just a lot of fun. Like probably over 100 bikes out here today. And we just go through and uh, ride all the alleys out here in Portland. Right now we're in Southeast. And uh, we're just out here having some fun, doing our thing. And uh, yeah, so I decided to bring my Delaria out for this ride to see how it would do. And uh, you know, so far so good. Um, so, <laughs> crazy, it's like a major traffic jam. So yeah, the Delaria is getting a little bit of attention out here. Um, People kind of interested in it, you know, of course, because it looks different. And of course it's electric. So. <laughs> so yeah, lots of good people out here just having fun. So I think the point of this ride is, or the the thing behind it is um, we're supposed to go through and sweep the alleys. Like we're supposed to pick up trash or something, but I don't really think anybody picks up trash. I can't rev my bike. <laughs> It doesn't make any noise. Woo! Getting high off the exhaust. I like this Husqvarna right here, the 650. TR650. It's got a unique design. It's pretty cool looking. This is a complete clusterfuck. Purple spokes. Sweet. So I've been riding this whole time in sport mode, which is probably unnecessary on on this alley stuff, but um, but it's fun. <laughs> but I do need it when we hit the streets because, as you can see, like there's like that certain speed where these gas bikes start pulling away, but then they kind of slow down. Oh, that's a Euphorbia plant out of control right there. Holy cow! That's like my favorite plant ever. Man. I can't believe it's just growing wild like that, unintended. Got the hog back here in the alleys. Getting high from all the exhaust fumes. Jeez. It's a little muddy back here, folks. This is when I wish I had my dirt bike tires. I put my stock tires back on. Uh, for this ride. So I can get a little more mileage out of it. I knew we were going to be doing, you know, street stuff too. And I didn't want to mess those brand new tires up on the street. Hell yeah!
So folks, I'm beginning to realize that this is the perfect bike for the alley sweeper. This is the ultimate bike for the alley sweeper. zero that's a zero so that's the other electric bike right there there is another electric bike here we got an alley blocker folks we got a classic alley blocker <laughs> yeah, baby. Woo. God's camera. I didn't even notice Cameron, right? Oh, on the Africa Twin, getting in on them bald ass TKC 80s. Woo! And he's got the flag. Folks, took a little pit stop, a little breather. I had to shed some layers, uh, change some batteries out, and uh, it's kind of the crowd's kind of getting dispersed a little bit. That's kind of usually how this goes. But uh, yeah, it, my GPS says we've done about 12 and a half miles, and I'm at 81% uh, right now. I've been riding most of the ride in uh, sport mode. I'm gonna click back into sport mode right now. There we go. Boo! So got most of our group with us still <laughs> but the Talaria is just kicking butt if you guys are liking this content make sure to hit that like button folks because this is how we get down at Oregon motorcycle Woo! yeah there's the zero again He pulls on me pretty good.
Um, I gotta go. So, I guess, are you guys gonna go up to the lunch spot? Okay, yeah. All right, folks, we are headed back to the meat spot, the original meat spot. So, um, we kind of broke up from everybody and uh, I have some prior obligations today. Um, so I can't, I couldn't do the whole ride anyways, but you know, I know I said earlier that the Talaria would be the ultimate bike for this ride, but this ride is probably at least 50 miles, 60 miles by the time you're done with everything, if not more. And uh, this bike just wouldn't be able to complete everything. So they were just saying that the next meetup spot is the lunch spot where they're going to have lunch and it's, you know, a half hour away. So I would show up there with a dead battery, <laughs> but, um, the Talaria is awesome. It, uh, I kind of felt like on this ride that, you know, I was pushing it a lot harder and like a lot of like just full throttle and then stopping, full throttle and then stopping. And it almost felt like I heated up the motor a little bit or heated things up and it actually felt like it started to lose a little bit of power, but not much. It feels like we rested for like 10 minutes right now and it feels like a lot more peppier, you know? So I don't know, again, that could be all in my head, but um, I will post the total mileage um, down below here in a minute. Um, to let you guys know, like, uh, what the total mileage is. I, I know we're over 12 miles and I'm like right around 60% or something. So, um, you know, this bike does really good, really good. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Oregon Motorcycle. If you did, like I said, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed yet, folks, I do all kinds of fun stuff on motorcycles. So, uh, until next time, folks. Oregon Motorcycle.